So in these tough times, we want to make sure we show up for them, we give them love, we give them support, and these small businesses are the fabric and the heartbeat of the U.S. economy. So it's important to support our young entrepreneurs, our small businesses, and give them all the love in the world. I love being back in the Bronx. Let's go. This is the number one item for us. Yeah. When we do the lights, it's going to be crazy. Oh, it's going to be huge yeah. because it's such an easy thing to campaign. I think we're one month away from that. Yeah. We should come back and we, whenever they launch, we should launch that. Like a big launch, right? Yeah, a big launch because the campaign should be under 100 calories or under 150. Whatever that number is, that's the market that all these young people, they all want us to be lean and sharp. You Absolutely. Know? Whoever stands out the most is going to win. That's why the packaging is so important. Because it pops, right? Huh? Very neat, man. President is like unforgettable. Of course, man. I wouldn't remember. So today we're back in the Bronx. No pinstripes, no pinstripes, but we are in the Bronx and we are Yankees. But today we're visiting a bunch of stores, bodegas, cormados, our New York City local partners. These small boroughs are the fabric of the US economy. Uh, we're coming today to give them some love, some support, and all of these bodega owners and supermarket owners, a lot of them are Dominican, Puerto Rican. We want to come out and support them. They're also our partners and they carry Presidente beer. So in these tough times, we want to make sure we show up for them. We give them love, we give them support. And these small businesses are the fabric and the heartbeat of the U.S. economy. So it's important to support our young entrepreneurs, our small businesses, and give them all the love in the world. I love being back in the Bronx. Let's go. Hello, how are you? Uh, uh, social distancing, how are you? God bless, God bless. Uh, literally the biggest presidential chain in New York in terms of volume. Um, they have about 16, 17 stores across the five boroughs, um, but they just do huge, very Hispanic oriented stores, you can see, right? This is really cool. Is this new, Eric? Yeah, so we just changed from the 33.8 to the 40 ounce. I think it's still 33.8, but uh, <laughs> yeah, that the Presidente went to 40. <laughs> you know, in Dominican, that's like the most popular uh, size to consume it in. It's a jumbo. Really? So you get out of the airport, the cabby takes it to the first, you know, wow. Guamado. It is for one or for the family? For like two people. Always for two oh, people. I think I July it. 68. That's amazing. You didn't get a home in Thank you. You got it. Thank you. You're welcome, baby. Nice. We're going to our next stop, 7-Eleven. <laughs> no, we're actually going to uh, our eighth location here in the Bronx. We're doing Cormados, 
bodegas, mini markets, and supermarkets. These are all our partners, a lot of hardworking people going through tough times, but I wanted to come out and make sure that we support our small businesses. They're the heartbeat of the U.S. economy, and they need hope, they need time. There are partners that carry Presidente. It's important to support our partners in difficult, challenging times. We will enjoy the next tour. I really like this owner. He came to this country in 1960. He started as a bag boy and then got promoted and then he became a manager and then he became a general manager and then he owned one store and today him and his three kids operate and run over 20 stores awesome story the american dream baby here we go come Hi, right, this is JD. He's the owner of Golden Mango. Awesome. He was on one of our calls. He has uh, seven stores in New York um, and probably the most influential Dominican owner in New York City. Man. Awesome. They love it. How have you helped out through the pandemic? Very well, very well. It's a difficult area, uh, especially uh, an area that's in need. But, you know, we're here every day. We try to, you know, do the best we can to feed the community. <laughs> Sunday to Friday, same thing. Well, this, the day? this store here is a, is, a, is a particular weekend store. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Not because of the holidays. You'll see, you know, it's, it's, we're in the prime, just right before Thanksgiving. You'll see a little bit more action, but it's, it's particularly a weekend store. I believe I'm the store number one in the New York area in selling. Single store, the number yes. one. Yes. All right. Wow. Uh, besides being besides being your beer, it's my beer. Yeah. <laughs> so, 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 so we got to push together, bro. We got to put in the same in the same direction. What kind of feedback are you getting from the light versus the regular? Well, it depends. It depends. The, the older folks are drinking light. The younger folks are drinking the, the, you know, the real alcohol. People that are trying to take care of themselves, they're going here. But the young crowd is going, actually going to the, to, the, to the regular mouth. And the packaging, does this help? Yeah, the packaging, yeah, the, the packaging has beautiful color, beautiful shine. It's not pale. Then we also have the, uh, the, the, big, the big ones, the 40 ounces, where we come here. The Jumbo. The Jumbo's in the front there. Then in the summertime, we do a lot of this because of the beach and the pools. Yeah. Do, but then in, 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 in the winter, we change to the bar. Summer, we try to push for the cans, if people can take it to the beach. And the cans are, are fairly new? Fairly new, yes. yes. This is the best president Yeah? Yeah, this Thank is you. great. This Thank is you. Amazing. How about, here for you, here for you. Butch, Butch one time. Roy. Roy? Roy Diaz. You started as a bag boy? Nine years old. And now you're one of the owners? My father, my father started as bodegueros. You know, but, uh, yeah, Joaquin. no, here, here. My father had a store in Blake Avenue, Brooklyn. That's when Brooklyn, you're talking Brooklyn. about. You're talking about when Brooklyn, when there was rubble, when the buildings, abandoned buildings, and everything. The so, 70s or 80s? 70s. 70s. So 70s. So back in the on weekends, we didn't have a babysitter, so era para la tienda. So tiene una bodega y de empezó a crecer un poco. Yes. And so the guys... bodega fueron a superettes, the superettes fueron a supermercado. Y este es el este supermercado. Sí. And then it basically we, we grew into the business and we, we tried to evolve it. So this is kind of typical bodega, Alex. Uh, small, high volume, but they sell everything one beer at a time. Single bottles. That's all they sell. Wow. How's it going, bro? It's been great. It's probably one of our biggest delis that we have yeah. in our market. And you see there's a beer cooler, but all the beer comes out of here. This is the most powerful location to be in. People like their beers cold, like that. Check it out. Of course, it should be, right? People come in, they order their sandwiches, their deli stuff. Boom, they buy their beer and they go on their way. And in the summer, right, that's when you have the domino playing outside. People just buy a beer, they drink on the curb, they come back inside and just keep buying, right? Over and over and over again. Presidente, Stella, Heineken, and Corona are important because people here, when they move to this country, remember there's all Hispanic here. They were drinking Budweiser, Miller, that was like a popular thing. 
but not everybody's drinking it. So they want to say, what, what's going to make me look cooler? Well, anything more expensive. Anything more expensive, it's a badge of honor. I, I'm able to pay more, an affordable luxury. Maybe they can't buy a Mercedes, but they could buy a Presidente, only a dollar more. They could buy a Corona, dollar fifty more, right? Wow. Affordable luxury means something to the consumer. Good luck, going out for the summer. Bye guys, bye, -bye now. You have a fee on ad, it's 50% growth in our product. The minute it's on an ad, the people will come just to buy it. I think that what he did out here, man, it's been awesome and all that, you know, him being the person he is and all that. You know, and I've been down to meet him for, for really all my life, just to tell him that I'm way better shortstop than him. You know, but um, you know, I've been following him his whole career and all that, and I'm, I hope that he gets into the Hall of Fame, you know, despite everything that's going on with him and all that. And I respect him as a player and also as a person, like I said. God bless y'all, thank y'all for coming out and showing y'all support, showing y'all love to this community, you know. And like I said, I'm the best shortstop to ever play. He bought me a turkey. My family didn't have nothing for Thanksgiving. And he bought me a turkey. I think that was very awesome. But I love his wife. She's from here. And thank you. God bless Mr. Rodriguez. And I hope he keeps, the, keeps up the good work.